Oh my god! All right, my friends, out here with my good buddy Henry Martin of Catching Dinosaurs. This guy knows more about alligator gar than probably anybody on the planet. The coolest thing about alligator gar is that the adrenaline rush of catching them lasts for. This one's been going on 20 minutes, probably, right? We saw this fish surface right out here, and we both just about lost our marbles. And um, we're getting ready to act on it. I, I don't know. I'm terrified. Henry's a little terrified. <laughs> we're going to see what happens. You guys haven't seen Henry on my channel in a recent video in a long time. But uh, let's just say there's nothing that fishing and time on the water can't heal. Thank you guys for watching. Come on, baby. Come on. Please do it. Do it. Good lord. Dude, that hooks that though. Dude, that hooks that. Loosen if you need to, Henry. She's super close. She's super close. She's gonna jump, buddy. Oh my gosh! That might be the biggest of your life, buddy. So guys, right now, I can't even tell you how much adrenaline I'm feeling. I literally, I might be about to like fall over. I'm feeling look so at, adrenaline. Look at this. This fish was really cold and it took her a while to wake up, but she's awake now and she's huge. She could be eight foot, a little under maybe. One note to mention here is that the hook that we're using is this big. Is that, that correct? Yep. It's a gamakatsu fly bait, one knot. This is uh, what that fish left as a boil. She stirred up a bunch of mud from probably five, six foot deep. We still got that rope. Yeah, I'll get the rope. One the time. Where is the rope? Crab. I think it should be past that way. To the right? We got the Cast King Meg swim bait rod, heavy bass rod in the Cast King capstan, 200, 300. 80 pound Cast King braid. About to see her probably, he's actually good. Which is terrifying. She I know. Kind of like a different color than that one that rolled. She no? looked a little lighter. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Sometimes I do that, I like loosen the drag when I reel. Look at the water disturbance right here. Look. Her tail came up eight foot back. This thing is hurting me where I'm putting it into this. <laughs> I need to get a chest mount, I guess. You're four minutes in. Really? Yeah. Do you, do you think it matters if you have a chest mount or a... Uh... All the... Oh! <gasps> do you see that? No. The thing that came up way behind her, like 10, 15 feet back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But with a chest mount, all these people would see Just would be the reel. Yeah. That's it. Like the only thing but it then, adds it is it the sucks. sound of drag. It sucks because then when you're on your head and you want to show that stuff, then you have to like hold the rod up here. Yeah. Or you have to like look down, you know? Yeah. Um, put my wallet and keys and everything up here. <laughs> yeah. If I don't pull hard, she might not actually leave. You notice how I like let up a little bit and then she didn't really push? How loose are you? Pretty loose. Yeah. That was some master guard handling right there. My plan right now is to pendulum her straight into shallow water. That's at least what I'm going to try to do. And she then might she... say no, but since it's so cold in water... Here she is, yeah. She may just come. She's, she's face at us now. She's turning down river. Oh, slow, buddy, slow down, slow down. I'm, I'm really low on it, so I'm just gonna walk backwards. Do you wanna let me in? Let's see what happens when her face hits. Be careful, me. buddy. Be careful. Let's see what happens when her face hits. Why don't you let me in here? Right. She's, she's on the, she's on the bottom. Yep. Try to stay 
get off of it, I'll try to turn it her head to the left. Maybe she come back off real quick. That's my bad. I'm gonna go up. Okay. I'll turn it forward. I know it looks like I'm pulling really hard, but I'm not. I'm just trying to coax her hair. Yeah, she was actually on the bottom, so she couldn't really get away. That's kind of what I thought. If I can get her head to touch here, we might be good. Yeah, because then she's kind of stuck. And I can just kind of jump over on the other side of her pectorals. We'll just have to see what happens. I can't really get her head to turn. You want to let me in? Oh my god! Her tail is split. I'm on her back. I don't like it. That what? I'm on her back, so I'm trying to get nice and high, so I'm not just like grinding on her, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what we should do. When we bring her back, then I'll let you in. And we'll just go for it. All right, I'm going to let you through now. To the left. And then you just go ahead and get out there, and I'll see if I can keep pulling her up. You all right? Yeah, try to get it off. It's like gone, gone. So. Perfect. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna. I think I can get her all up on the bank. Careful, buddy. Or like at least. Watch the rod. Watch the rod. You're high sticking a tiny bit. Just, she's gonna push over there. Okay, let's go for it. I'm back off drag. She's getting. Get it to the left so you get off her back. Yeah, I mean, that's about what we'd expect, though, you know? Yeah. This is a very, very thick car. I'm not sure how long she is, but... I think she's 7'6", 40 to 42. I just want to run out there and get her. I know. I can try and bear hug her and just swim her up to shore. I think, it was, I think on this one we got her. It's usually about three or four tries, you know. Whoa, she's kind of nose down, mate. I went from this way, so. I couldn't even get her to wake up when I hooked her. I do, that hooks at the sound. Oh. It made it just a solid oh. clunk. I knew it, so I literally, I didn't yeah. even set again, I just backed off again. Yeah. Okay. Okay, go ahead. If you want, you can always take the rod and I'll go for it. But... You can put your other hand on the leader to kind of lead her where you need. Pull her up a little. I uh, don't have to. Just take her, take her to the left real quick. Uh, hold on, hold on. Take her. Just watch your feet and stuff. I got the rod. I'm just gonna take her up real quick. Are you now? Well, get in the water and hold your fish. Should we put a tape on her? Yeah, I'll go get it. Whoa! Look how thick she is. Dude, I'm telling you. I got it up here. I don't think she's going to do anything. This is a huge fish. What you got? I'm at one, so what do you got? I'm at 94. Exactly. She's... Hold on. No, no, no. Yeah, the back, her the the bottom of her tail. Look at that. She'll go six. She'll go ninety-seven. Way back here, I had the wrong so tail. We're at eight one or what? No, we're at uh, seven seven. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's eight one. Yeah. That's the biggest fish you've ever caught. Yep. Yeah. Not that big. About forty or so. Um. So casting equipment, this is why we use it. Speed Demon Pro Meg Swimbait Rod, eight foot, 
This fish is eight foot one inches. Oh my God. You have to get down. Huh? Just try to pull her up on your knees. Get her up on your knees. <clears throat> Dang it! Look at the GoPro. Uh, I got the easier side. Uh, Try to support in the middle. Got it. Get her head. There it is. Eight foot, one inch. Henry's PB. That's a scary big fish. All right, guys. I wanted to show this off real quick. This is the largest alligator gar that I've ever caught personally. This is eight foot one. She's probably at about 240 pounds, maybe somewhere around there, but absolutely massive fish. We're gonna go ahead and get her on back. Totally do not want to hurt this fish or inconvenience her any more than we have to. Look at this thing's head though. Wow. Look at those teeth. <laughs> Beautiful fish. All right, you ready? Wow, Bye, big girl. she Love you. took off. Wow. Wow. You all right, buddy? <laughs> Crazy. All right, well, me and Henry have just been kind of sitting in the sun for like an hour after that happened. Uh, that's his biggest fish. I've caught an 8-1, and now he's got an 8-1. 8-1 uh, and 40 inches around. My waist is like a 30. A 30-32 or something like yeah. that, I think. I'm a 34, I think, around, so. <laughs> but uh, fish of a lifetime, no doubt. Uh, just, just remarkable. Look at this. That's the hook that Henry is using to catch alligator gar. That's a one-aught gamakatsu. This'll be the third year using just this hook. Eight foot, one inch fish came on a hook that a lot of people will use for cropping. It's about the size of a penny. If you put a penny on there, it's about the same it'll, size. Yeah, it'll cover it probably. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, is that, that's the biggest freshwater fish of your life. Yeah. Um, if you guys want to book an alligator guard trip, get a hold of Henry. You can catch a fish like that. You never know what's going to be out here in these rivers or in the bay. Catching Dinosaurs Guide Service, check him out on Facebook. I'm going to be spending some more time out here with him on the river chasing fish like that. And we're also going to put more time into finding giant catfish out here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Henry. Awesome day. Awesome memories. Please subscribe. See you on the next one.